on the spot. We get the latest coming to We Shop channel and check out the new releases coming to stores. Guy Cocker reports from Barcelona on the Sony Xperia Play, and I go toe to toe with Sugar Shane Mosley and Fight Night Champion. Today on the spot. Welcome everybody to a little show we like to call Today on the Spot. What day is it, you ask? Thanks for asking. It's Tuesday, February 15th, 2011. I've got a very special co-host here in Chris Thanks, Waters. Sean. Chris, we've got a great show coming up. Let me run down why it's so great for you. Go for it. First of all, the Blob 2 toys to give away. I see them. These toys are rad as hell. Uh, it might say that somewhere on the packaging. It might not. I might have just made that up just now. We also have a great Fight Night Champion demo coming up. I'll Fist give you one guess which boxer Homer is going to choose for that one. Uh, M Manny. Manny. He's a Manny guy. He's a big Manny guy. He loves, Pac he loves Pac-Man. Yes. He's going to go with Manny in pretty much any yeah, situation. That's so, accurate. guys, it's a great show coming up today. But first, let's kick it off, as always, with the latest headlines. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's your GameSpot News Update for Tuesday, February 15th. I'm Tor Thorsten. Given the critical and commercial success of the Assassin's Creed series, it should come as little surprise that a new installment is in the works. Speaking with analysts at a post earnings conference call, Ubisoft executives confirmed that Ubisoft will release a new Assassin's Creed game during its next fiscal year. Ubisoft gave no further details about the title, promising more information when it reports its full year earnings in May. The new Assassin's Creed game will be the fourth console entry in this series, which began in 2007 with the original installment. It was followed two years later by Assassin's Creed II, with Brotherhood arriving the following fall. There have also been several portable spin-offs of the series. In less welcome news, the end has finally come for Bizarre Creations. According to reports out of the UK, the British studio will close its doors on Friday for the last time after nearly two decades in business. Star Creations first came to prominence for its Formula One game in the original PlayStation and Metropolis Street Racer for the Sega Dreamcast. However, the studio became best known for its work for Microsoft, for which it developed the popular Project Gotham Racing and Geometry Wars series. In 2007, Bizarre Creations was bought by Activision, for whom it developed two games, Blur and James Bond 007 and Bloodstone. Neither title was a breakout hit, so as part of a round of cost-cutting late last year, Activision made the decision to close the studio. Good luck to all those laid off by the decision. Well, that's it, your GameSpot News update for Tuesday, February 15th. For more headlines, head on over to news.gamespot.com. Thanks for that update on the latest headlines, GameSpot News team. Chris? Now we're going to move on to a segment called New Releases. What is that feature? It features games that are new and being released in stores this week, hence the name. Try to guess all the games coming out this week, because there's a lot of them. Well, I know one of the big ones we've been playing a lot around the office here, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, that's probably the biggest one a week of the week. Not the only thing, though. Tactics Ogre, Let Us Cling Together. Very good. Gears of War Triple Pack, Dragon Quest VI, all kinds of stuff. And now that you've given us the rundown, let's take a look at them. New releases. This week in new releases, last week You Don't Know Jack boggled your mind and Mario Sports Mix took it to the net. This week you can battle franchises, chainsaw foes, and put your hands in the air. Leading the pack this week is Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Fate of Two Worlds for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The latest crossover title from Capcom pits characters from the Marvel Comics universe against Capcom's suite of fighters. You'll find your favorites here, Wolverine, Captain America, Nathan Spencer, Dante, Ryu, and countless others. Also out this week is the Gears of War Triple Pack for Xbox 360. This bundle includes the original Gears of War, Gears of War 2, and Gears of War 2 All Fronts Collection, which boasts 19 multiplayer maps and the single player mission Road to Ruin. On the go gamers can pick up the latest Dragon Quest title on Valentine's Day for the Nintendo DS. Dragon Quest VI Realms of Revelation is a portable remake of 1995's SNES role playing game. Another new portable title out this week is Tactics Ogre Let Us Cling Together for PSP. The title is a remake featuring extra subplots, new and redesigned characters, and added gameplay mechanics that allow players to turn back time either to change the story's direction by revisiting key plot points or to replay critical points of individual battles for a better outcome. Gamers who prefer not to use a controller at all this week can pick up two new Kinect titles, THQ's Dance Paradise and Brunswick Pro Bowling. For further details on the week's games, visit GameSpot's new releases page. Release dates are based on retail listings and are subject to change. Hey guys, in case you missed it, we mentioned earlier it's a Tuesday show and you know what that means. It's Tuesday! 
Thanks, Chris. This week on We Shop Channel. This week on We Shop Channel, in We Wear, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, try Puka's Kisses game. Puka wants to assault a ninja named Garo with lots of kisses. Chase Garo on foot, with vehicles, and in the sky in order to do what restraining orders were invented to stop. Afterwards, Chick Chick Boom drops a demo. Wage a battle between yellow and black teams with explosions, elephants, carnivorous plants, UFOs, disgruntled crabs, lightning, and countless other weapons. Then keep the demos rolling with Kronos Twins DX. Control two warriors at the same time and use their combined skills to solve puzzles, cross chasms, and kill bad guys. In Nintendo DSiWare, Treasure Hunter X will fulfill your craving for shoveling dirt. Grab a pickaxe and start digging for ore in a series of dangerous caves. Be careful not to get done in by natural disasters and creatures of the deep. Afterwards, keep your DS fired up for Oscar in Toyland 2. Oscar's back with Zany New Worlds. Your mission is to swim, fly, and run while collecting baby Oscars using your main weapon, a yo-yo. Finally this week, what's cute and cuddly and their baby sneeze really loud, it's Panda Craze. Guide tickling through caves, forests, mountains, and deserts on her way to her home, the Bamboo Forest. Dig, drill, and blast your way through ice and rock on 150 challenging levels. That's all the time we have, folks. Join us next week for more This Week on We Shop Channel. Hey guys, I'm Guy Cocker from GameSpot UK and I'm here in Barcelona for the Mobile World Congress. Today here with the Sony Xperia Play, which was previously dubbed the PlayStation phone. Now this thing has been leaked, it's been rumored for ages, but finally we've got it here in our hands. So let's go and take a look and see what we can expect. All right, guys, so here is the Xperia Play. Now, this is an Android 2.3 gingerbread device. As you can see, it looks like a standard Android phone, as you might expect, touchscreen on the front. But if we go over here to the left, you can see that we've got a game called Asphalt 6, which, when you turn the device around, pop it out, you can see you can play with the standard PlayStation controls. Now, this device, the Xperia Play, has what we've come to expect from PlayStation devices. So you have the um, digital D-pad here, you have the X, uh, circle, triangle, and square buttons here, and start select here underneath, as well as the uh, PlayStation certified logo. One of the most exciting things about this device, though, is the fact that it's got analog controls, not one, but two. So these are touch sensitive, that they're analog, so you'll be able to play traditional PlayStation games using these. Also of note, here on the top, you have shoulder buttons, again, like we've come to expect from the PlayStation Go. All right, so this is Asphalt. It's a um, racing game that you may remember or may recognize from other devices. I believe it's on the, um, on the iPhone as well. Um, again, you just jump into it. It's very, very intuitive. You've used a PlayStation device before. Um, it's currently loading a race in Chamonix in France. Um, we're going to see how it actually controls. I'm going to jump into a game here, see how it works. All right, so we've got a, a little bit of a demo here to introduce the game itself. You know, it looks fairly nice. Uh, Sony is boasting HD quality graphics. We don't know the actual uh, resolution of the, of the display yet, but it got HD resolution um, graphics as well as 60 frames per second gameplay as well. So let's jump in, have a race. So as you can see, I'm holding X down and um, controlling the car with the digital controller. You've also got the option of using analog control here as well. And yeah, as you'd, um, as you'd expect, it's a, um, it's a racing game. You know, it's, it's very similar to uh, something like Need for Speed. It's an arcade racing game. And as you can see from this, the, uh, the graphics are, uh, are good. They're um, similar to what we might expect on maybe PlayStation 2 level, I'd say. Um, it's running very smoothly. And if we maybe pause here, you can uh, you just pause the game, go back home, and you're back into um, the standard phone. So from what I've seen in the device so far, you know, you've got your standard PlayStation S games, you've got Android games as well. It's kind of a good cross-platform device. You can play games like Angry Birds on it, you can play games like Asphalt. It's got a good mixture of games. 
So here at MWC Barcelona, Sony has announced that there's going to be partnerships from many major publishers, including Electronic Arts, Gameloft and Glue, uh, and there's going to be uh, supposedly 50 games for the device when it launches. Also interestingly, they've announced that there's going to be support from Unity technology. Now Unity supports many browser-based uh, games through its middleware, and apparently games that are developed using Unity technology will be very easily ported to this device. So that's the Sony Xperia Play, which we've had a first hands-on with. The device is supposed to be priced at the upper end of the market, so expect it alongside premium uh, Android devices. But it's going to be launching in March 2011 worldwide on many carriers in the UK and exclusively on Verizon over in the US. You can find out more about the Xperia Play by heading over to GameSpot.com. Game Demo. Well, folks, we have reached that moment. It is daily demo time. We've got Homer Rabara here, our resident boxing and just general fighting expert in the yes. office. Uh, I just fight you everybody. Like you, I come in, I fight. Yeah. It, you you know, love fighting. You love physically harming people. I love Let's put it that pummeling way. Pummeling people. You like pummeling people. people. In the face. So no better guest to show off this uh, upcoming EA Sports title, Fight Night Champion, That's right. than our man Homer. Fight Night Homer, Champion. You've got a match queued up here between Sugar Shane and Pac Man. The People's Champion. The, the People's Champion. The People's Champion. Number one pound for pound fighter in the world. I just you know. I'm just, yep. I'm just speaking truths here. You're a big not fan. Not opinion. You're, no, you're there's a big no opinion fan here. of your countryman Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, I am. That right. I am. I mean, this is the matchup that you know a lot of people kind of been waiting for. I mean, everybody's been waiting for a different kind of matchup, but. Uh -huh. You know, we'll settle for this one. This is actually, I'm replicating the fight that is uh, supposed to happen on May 7th. Okay. Uh, against these two. Look at Shane al already scared of the ferocity so you, from the people's you've champion. you had a bit of time to practice this game today. What, tell, tell me, Homer, what is your strategy? What are you going to do? My strategy is just to, just to bombard <laughs> Mr. Azukar here <laughs> with uh, the fury of the Pac-Man uppercut. Okay. Uh, to the body, to the face. Uh -huh. Anyway, I like to I like to dish it out here. You just you just like punches and bunches. Yeah, punches and bunches. That's the Manny Pacquiao style of fighting. Is, uh, as people have become accustomed to. Now, obviously, that has kind of worked to my disadvantage because, as you can see, my stamina is kind of I'm not I'm not doing too well uh, keeping my stamina up. But I, you know. It's like, hey, look at! Oh, I knocked nice. him back. He's in. Nice. He's, he's this, in crisis mode. He's in crisis mode. So I'm gonna go for the the kill here. The ki it's a, oh, well, but look at that. He in goes, boxing, they use different terminology. It's not a kill. It's a knockout. It's a knockout. It's I'm a going knockout. For, I'm going for the knockout. But yeah. you know. Oh wow! Looks like so maybe you got knocked out. So that was like a pretty nasty. That was, that was a, pretty bad. That was a flash knockout. That, that was mistaken. a flash knockout. That's, that's that's a thing that can happen in this game. Is that if a punch lands just perfectly square on your sensitive man face, on, then, my, on my man jaw, <laughs> your man face. Well, and then you can get knocked out. That's yes. a thing that can happen. Th see what happens when I, I get careless. It, 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 I get caught. You I get, get caught by the sugar. You get caught by sugar Shane. Do you want to redeem yourself? Let's redeem myself because okay. you know it's. I, I think I think oh, wow. I owe it to the people. You owe it. I to owe the, it to the people. You owe it to me. I owe it to forget Manny. The, but Homer, I owe forget it to the Manny. people. You owe it to me because oh, I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I, I'm pretty disappointed too. Very I mean, this is this is definitely one of the features uh, of the game where. Yeah, I mean, you got this. You can't just throw punches left and right <laughs> and expect not for a dude not to hit you once. Yeah. In a while. So we're gonna go at it again okay. here. Let's try this again. Let's go, let me see if I can get out of the first round. First of all, <laughs> I, I think my countrymen are gonna hang me for this. But yeah, that's um, that's your goal. I have to Make be a little more. I have to be a little more tactical. Yeah, uh, definitely. In the previous, in in uh, Fight Night Four. Uh huh. They had the haymaker punches mapped to the right bumper, and I think I threw too many of those in this right, version. Right, okay. They probably balanced that out a little bit more, because before I just used to hold that thing down and throw, <laughs> You're one of those guys. Like, like there was none. Oh, look, see? I'm redeeming myself. Not yet. Don't get ahead of yourself. Well. So, how does it feel compared to Fight Night Round 4? Uh, it does definitely it feels. Um, a little more realistic. Fight Night Round uh -huh. 4 kind of harkened back to a little bit more of a arcadey feel. Okay. Like the punches felt really quick and responsive, but uh -huh. I almost felt like they were too responsive. Um, and you could throw a whole lot of them. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting caught. Now I noticed you, that you are a, uh, you're an analog stick man. You're not going back to those face buttons, no. which they do let you use in this game. But you're you're keeping with that the analog stick. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the total fight control. Yeah. Um, oh! oh! You see, you see what happens. You see what nice. happens, sugar, nice. when you mess with the oh. Pac-Man. And look, his head is just He's like done. dangling on the ropes. Is He's he gonna done. get up? He's gonna, he might, nope. but hey. He's, he's standing up. That's finish all right. Him I'll finish him up. Finish him up. He's coming, he's charging towards me. But yeah, going back to the whole, the whole uh, buttons versus analog stick thing. Right. Like, I just feel it's way more uh, immersive when you are throwing those punches. Uh -huh. Map to the, you know, you're, you're flicking your jab or, or your hook. Yeah. And you're using the, the quarter, the quarter turn to throw hooks. You're using the half turn to throw your uppercuts. I think it's uh, it's just a, a more realistic approach to fighting. Right. So, yeah, that's it. Fight night round, or fight night champion. Fight night champion. Yes. Uh, we've got 10 seconds. Oh, did you get knocked out again? I didn't get knocked out. <laughs> you got knocked just, out again. You know what, you let's go. To finish. Let's go, let's go back. Oh, oh no, see, okay. look at that. See, get I'm up. getting Here's up. your chance to redeem I'm yourself. Getting up. It's if cool. If you get up. And they, they actually have, this is a perfect example for me to, to show the uh, show off the whole getting up. Oh, uh, the getting up mechanic. Getting up mechanic, yeah, you know. So it's mapped to the analog sticks. Mapped it's to the analog sticks. a little bit of a mini game. Yeah, you gotta tilt to side to side and then push up when you're in the middle. It's, uh, oh, oh, I mean. Hey, do you, look. Do you want to continue this demo? I'm, I'm gonna continue, I'm continuing because uh, a champion gets up. Okay. A champion gets up. Maybe uh, maybe I underestimated Sugar Shane in his old age, but uh, you know. Hey man, it's your show. You call the shots on how long you want this demo to go. I, let me at least get him on the ground. Okay. My stamina is. Uh, let me. You know, I think I think Manny's governorship probably in the Philippines. Yeah. Has probably hampered I mean, his ability he's, to train. He's a politician. He's so a politician he, now. He's a famous singer. He's a famous he's singer. A, he's got an album out. He, he makes a lot of appearances specifically. Man, he's talented. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent. Immense talent. So anyways, before I embarrass myself uh -huh. over and over again, that, this, oh. is, this is Fight Night he Champion. Just got a brutal Look, right. I'm just gonna go to his ribs. This okay. is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, You're gonna try to I'm gonna smack the blue out of his eyes. That's what I'm gonna do. Blue out of his eyes. Anyways, oh, Manny Pacquiao, the Pac-Man. Pac-Man. I like your style, Homer. <sighs> what, missing? <laughs> missing, and, missing and falling on the ground and not re you representing my country. You talk a big game. All right. Anyways. All right. So that's Fight Night that's Champion. It. Fight Night Champion. Fight Night Champion. Um, coming out. Xbox 360, the... PlayStation 3, Uno de Marcho. Uno de Marcho, which this is year. a language for <laughs> it's the home March language. 1st. <laughs> now on with the rest of the show. Pac-Man! You know what that demo reminded me of, Chris? Tell us, Sean. This. Pew, 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 pew. This is Homer boxing. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I got knocked out. <laughs> he does make the space laser noises. <laughs> he does. And you're like, why well, I don't under, <laughs> no, he's not, something's missing. All right, anyways, before we derail too much, guys, it's trivia time. You could, we, you could win some sweet De Blob 2 toys. Chris, tell the people what's going on. Well, here's the question, folks. Name the evil corporation that drained all the color from Chroma City in the original De Blob. Send us your answer using the answer trivia module on the page, or shoot us an email to onthespot at gamespot.com, and you could win one of these three delightful figurine packs. Thanks for that, Chris. Now, guys, we have a huge week of shows coming your way this week. We've got all kinds of great demos happening. We've got a demo for Homefront. Chris, what else do we have? Well, if you prefer things a little more tactical, we got Operation Flashpoint Red River. And we've also got a few pretty big surprises coming your way that we don't want to reveal quite yet, but suffice it to say, huge show coming up this week. So, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Sean McInnes. And I'm Chris Waters. So long, everybody. Take care of your families. All right, welcome to Tuesday 021511. All kinds of stuff. That's a lot of releases. Let's look at them. Ha, 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 ha.